Where's Tang? Tang? He's in the, he's in the, he's in the bath. He's in the bath. What? <laughs> There's a whole bunch oh, of people. Oh, there he is. Orgy done already? No. What? No. I'll fill you in. Do we need to go somewhere? Yes. All right, lead the way. Is this something I should come with or fuck off? up again i i don't remember that actually i wasn't there oh oh, oh, oh goodbye if you need me i'll be over here then i guess i'll be back out in a second one second i need to change being followed. Then fix it. Not now. Good evening. <clears throat> Gentlemen, pleasure seeing you two again. <clears throat> it has been some time since we saw you last, so we figured we'd come visit. You have two plates, you're so expecting someone. Enjoyed the cold meal. And yes, I was actually, matter of fact. 
out of town yeah, for about sure. a few weeks. More like my friend never showed up. You better die. Leave town for a couple of weeks and a few things pop up here and there. But that's neither nor your concern or anyone else's. You came here for, I'm guessing, more information. No? You are astute. Information. You are correct. <laughs> it's not a friendly visit. I know what this is. What you say to us determines if it is or not. <laughs> oh, I have nothing to hide from you gentlemen last time. Trust me, I learned a quick lesson. But no. A Capitano has gotten on my last fucking nerves, to be honest. That we have in common. A friend who that play belongs to? <clears throat> Raudos was his name. And the Capitano had his fucking neck slit for trying to help someone. I come to find this out a few hours ago. So! Their name is what now? Doraldos? Correct. He was young too. Had a shining career. And now he's been killed. <clears throat> well, unfortunately, when you choose sides like this, that tends to be what happens. Choose. I guess we can put it that way. You're all in the choose. barracks with him. One of you could put a knife between his ribs. <clears throat> Everyone's too scared to do it. But and honestly, at this point... Choose. At this point... No, not mean anymore. Oh. You want your information? Have it free of charge. <clears throat> One of my close... Officer friends close to the Capitano informed me about something quite interesting happening tonight. It seems that you gentlemen have been being pain in the side of this Capitano. Been making him run amok everywhere. He's panicking. Good. But he's still set in his ways. Tonight at Cassetto, he sent one of his loyalist dogs with the rest of his underlings to go not kill merchants but secure their supplies, seize them from the merchant guild, and have his fingers inside of not his ever so deeper. Ever since yours last job, he's gotten a bit more protective about his goods, and he is feeling the hurt on his income. But this is his way to ensure that the merchants and the markets stay for him. These merchants in Cusero, he wants to use their assets. I would have thought that with the removal of Zenik, that he would have lost that grasp. Is he trying to take it back? The Capitano's pockets not only run deep in coin, but manpower, my dear friend. If you really want to hurt him, you have to keep hitting him time and time again until he gets so mad he makes a slip up. If you really want to hit him, and you want to hit him tonight, you go to Cusero, you find a Corporal Barrera, you find his men, and you save those merchants from whatever fate that monster in the keep has destined for them. And you think this is him trying to... <clears throat> regain the coin that he lost through the removal of Zenik? <laughs> it's a lot bigger than coin, my friend. He wants to starve out the merchant's guild until they'd complete... 
completely align with him. It's not just coin at that point. Every good that goes into this town, he'll know it. And he'll seize it from not just the Redods, but every independent merchant and craftsman in this town. If he does that, coin is not the issue anymore. So if he goes through with this, he'll have some of the merchant's guild in his pocket. And they'll be able to manipulate the markets even further, recuperate his losses. Merchants, assets, you, you name it. If he gets what he wants tonight, it's going to be a lot more difficult to drive him out. A lot more difficult. The new way forward is clear. Congratulations, Marco. Today you get to make a difference. You're coming with us. You're gonna help us deal with this Barrera. <laughs> I bet you anything that's the son of a bitch that killed my friend, actually. Knowing how he's a lapdog to that Capitano. Well, so allow me to give you some me. insider information, then. Draldos did not have his throat slit. Draldos had his chest cut open while he was alive. He had his ribs sawed and broken while he was alive. And he had his heart torn from his chest while he was alive. He was then hoisted up to be a spectacle in the arena. suppose we should grab our shit and go. Good. This is what's going to happen. You're going to wait outside of your house. I'm going to go speak to an associate and have a couple men sent with you. And you're going to make sure that this Corporal Barrera is captured alive. He will be interrogated for everything he knows. And then he is yours to do with as you please. <clears throat> Very well then. I'll be Look. waiting. See to it that you are. So fuck this up, Marco. <clears throat> With dead man walking already. Capitano has been Good thorough man. questioning his men.
Uh, this is going to be tricky. Strange man in here. He just went upstairs. Very funny. Who are we getting? We'll take Sir Brooke with us. There's a small the gaggle of fuck around. outside the front. No doubt waiting to speak to you. And we'll take our pick and choose. Why? Various reasons. <clears throat> Apparently Kovaz has been in the library reading about elven artifacts and that's got Venora worked up. And what do they want me to do about it? Exactly. What is this? Hello. Why are there so many people outside of my house? Apparently, we've been gathered. So I don't know about for some of these people, but what are you talking about? In the dark. And then everyone just no kind of back, followed, I guess, and sat around. You I don't know. Why is there inside? A you inside. Yeah. You know. inside. You got your armor? Oh, God. I'm about to get that question sorted. I've received mine. It's not physically Kazim. with me, but I can pick yes. it up from Tordor. Mine. Oh. <laughs> is armor ready? <clears throat> that is a modern question. I'm not sure. Okay. It's been enough days, and I think we hit the threshold. Then I would say more than likely. You would have to be Alright. Let's sit up. Short crash course vision. The Capitano has a man named Corporal Barrera over at Cassetto right now that's pressing some merchants and seizing their property. Why does this matter to us? If he seizes the property of these merchants, and what they have, he's going to make up what he has lost by us pushing him out of the Merchant's Guild. <coughs> if he's able to get these goods back, and to get the rest of the Merchant's Guild to fall in line, then we're going to be back at square one. We cannot let him grab these Merchant's assets. It is taking place right now at Cassetto. There's about eight or nine men there. They are all Radard soldiers. This isn't something we can talk through. The man, Corporal Barrera, needs to be captured and interrogated for what he knows. Leave that to myself, Sharik, and the guard that's coming with us. His name is Marco. Marco is an ally. He's been feeding Marco. information about the Capitano to us. Yes. Oh. He's the last one left. His friend, Duraldo, who was feeding information to Nolzos, was brutally executed two days ago. So, if you need something to come with us, grab your armor and your weapons and come back here. Don't stop to talk to anyone. Go do it now. We leave in two minutes. Hurry up. Quickly. <laughs> Oh, fits nice. Good. Morden was saying yours was nearly done too, to see him actually. Hmm. Oh, it's done, it's upstairs. <clears throat> Just debating whether or not I should put it on. <clears throat> I kinda wanna see you in it, I'll be honest. I suppose they'll recognize me either way if I don't. <clears throat> I think I'll summon out the door. At least to ignore it. Helm, they might not know who I am. You know what? I'll be right back. Need help putting it on? Waiting. No, I'll mm. be right. <clears throat> Look at like you. An armor bearer for that kind of thing. Hmm? Look at you. <laughs> Look at me. Yeah. So, the only thing that's missing. I guess I'll go answer this then. Yeah, go for it. 
Miss Lario. Hey, um, it's Tazima Rondoran. We're in the middle of something Anyone? right now. We can come and find you after. Um, sure. I'm, I'm going to bed. I never mind. Come back tomorrow. Or something. Good luck with whatever you guys are doing. Mm -hmm. Take it easy, Ladio. Also, are you sure you're remembering the name? High profile. I'm going to wait. Um, sure. <coughs> The only thing missing is your heraldry. Uh, I thought that's a bit too soon. <laughs> for now. That's what I saved the uh, the white for. The uh, was it's it purple time. and gold griffin? Nice. <laughs> I'm sure we'll be revealing coat of arms at some point. It would After be glorious. After my deal with Nolzus goes through and we reveal Carpitano to the Barons, we will step out of the dark. Good. Finally. Oh. Zim, I need to talk to you for a moment before we go. Make it quick. Oh, it's a... <clears throat> I was getting in contact with an informant with the Azure Bulls, somebody we could probably use. There's a bounty on my head. People know I'm here in Gradia. A bounty? What do you mean people know you? 80 silver. Actually, They you. know Ro Jahin is here in Gradia. You. Oh, that's not good. I didn't do anything to reveal myself. I think right. one of the noblemen I've sold my ale to, they probably gave it to somebody, Listen. and they Listen. put two and two together. We've got your back. We'll figure it out. If we have to hide you, we will. For now, right. focus on this. We'll discuss it more. Is everyone ready? Ready. Aye. Ready. I'm ready. Aye. Good. Try not to attract too much attention. But unfortunately, it is what it is. We're going to take horses. Ride in pairs, if you don't have one. You two can go together. Be careful. Right. If you go too fast, you might get bucked. You're not done training yet. So, Brooker, you have your own horse, correct? Hi. Good. At least we'll die together. Do you have your own? I don't, but I can borrow a lot of this. <coughs> borrow a lot of yourself. Do you have a horse? I do, it's but it's out of town at the moment with my wife. I you know, like the last one. Oh. Very well. Ooh. Old habits die on it. I'll ride with you, knight. Whoever you are, <laughs> sir knight. Whoever you are. <laughs> dun, dun, dun. What are, where, is, where is Harry? We're waiting for him. Do you know where he is? Yeah, I thought Harry was going to be here. Face. Oh, fuck <laughs> me, oh. Harry. Now that we can move on. I have my suspicions. <coughs> I had no idea. It's me. Huh? Fuck off. Personally, I had right. no idea it was Harry. Couldn't tell. All right. Get your mounts. I meet outside of the slave encampment by the arena on the road. Hi, my lord. Hi, my lord. Wow, look at you. Jesus Christ. Dog pile. Mm. Dog pile. I'll repeat that line because it was funny. If you didn't hear it. What'd you say? You were like, oh, look at you. And I was like, yeah. I think I might need to practice. <laughs> Remind me to tell you about this dream I had <laughs> the other night. Sure. If, we, uh, <laughs> if we're not ragged when we get back. 
Okay. I'm trusting you completely with That's... every inch of my body and my soul. Is Sorry. that any different from our normal days? Yeah, when you're not in control of a buck-toothed beast. I'll be honest. Than both of us. This is going to be a 50-50. If you need tips, like I said, I trust you implicitly. I would never doubt any skill you have or plan to have. Am I going behind you? I think I should go behind you. You should definitely go behind me. <laughs> you all up? I cannot see. Yes. Are you ready? Ready. Um, mm -hmm. Oh, oh shit. No. <laughs> Bookies. I'm dead. I got bucked. Wait. Don't go through the main gate, go along this side. Don't go out the main gate. That's where the guards usually sit. If they see a bunch of horse riders leave, come out the side here. We can go out through the side and then come through the farmlands. Agreed. I don't really like the person who owns it anyway. Hmm. Hold on. So don't tight spider monkey. <laughs> oh, look at him, he looks so cool. Speed racer. <gasps> Something in the bush. Looks like Lorelei. <clears throat> Taking a shit. We're all here. Boo. Your employer talked about making a change. I'm sure you're ready for that. More ready than you may realize, Mr. Monko. To Cassetto. After Either you. Either way. To Cassetto it is then. Ride with haste. Ooh, ooh, ooh. It's okay. <laughs> it's the first time he's been out in a couple of days. He's flighty. <clears throat> he's excited. He's ready to go. Four horsemen of the Draupocalypse. Sounds like a band. I like that Draupocalypse. Don't say it too much, you'll will it into existence. I don't need to say shit for that to be happening. <laughs> Maybe I'll jinx it. <laughs> I'll have to teach you how to fire that crossbow off a horse. That way you can guard my back while I ride. You do know what I've been doing for the last six months, right? Yes, but you've been on carts, horses, as you can tell. Mm. Yeah, it's probably going to throw me off a bit, you're right. <clears throat> I just I hate to I'll say manage. miss, that's all. Uh, I've been horrible lately, even on my own feet. You've normally had a good track record, what happened to you? Been hesitating, I guess. I see. Mm. Not always a bad thing, Sarah. It is when it nearly gets me killed or someone else. That's why I said not always. Just sloppy. 
Hmm. Smuggest looking fucker there, yes. The color coding of the guardsmen is quite simple. One of officer rank or anything of standing wear orange. And if these are Capitano loyalists, they're either wearing yellow or green. Either way, they're all <coughs> tonight. So have your fun. Agreed. Just keep, just keep the most important looking man alive tonight. For just for a little bit. Sharik. And the supplies. Take her. Just flank around the side. Hit from the way they're not looking. We'll wait for your signal. We'll take the heat at first. Come on. We'll give you a few seconds to get in position. Go to the left. Just roll when you hit the ground. Remember, Barrera stays alive. Right. Everything. What a night. This bit should be the good to that, right? Alright, you guys gonna have the goods. Yeah, but we certainly aren't taking the fucking fish. <laughs> what the fuck is here even worth taking anyway? Honestly. It'd be a great job. Yeah, I think all you're gonna f <laughs> the only thing you're gonna find in there is fucking chum. Sir? Well, <laughs> don't check, you don't know. What the fuck? What the fuck? Harry, to the front! Gentlemen! Gentlemen, gentlemen, gentlemen. 
Are you so antsy? The Baron the alone. Matter? Load. Wants a word with you alone, Come and you are under arrest. <sighs> what the fuck? The story is over, <laughs> gentlemen. You're going to disobey that <laughs> big man. <laughs> oh, kill him! Come on, you fuck! Come on, fire! That sucks. Who the fuck is this? Damn it! You motherfucker! facing against this man, he is fast and skillful with his mate. And you are not prepared to deal with him with a four as you bring your sword up. He goes low for your chest. Your armor is all that prevents it from being a critical, but a major injury to the chest. The wind is knocked out of you. Kimchi, Kyle is throwing his knife. Right from the back of the head. Rolling. Natural 20. That's going to embed. Right in the armpit. What are you going to do with him? That arm is going limp. The soul just stands. And striking him in the back of the head. Critical one. He's ready for it. He'll put up his arm to block it with his armor. I can't see a fucking thing. I'm not done with you yet. Fuck, I can't see! In the leg. Uh, something. What the fuck? I'm tangled. Torch. She's gonna come up at leg sweeping. Right leg. 19 minus 2 for a 17. It'll be successful. You're going to fall to one knee. He's switching to mode, hell. Huh? Mm-hmm. Marcus is cornered. Kyler with a seven, he'll catch it. <laughs> Pulling you down. <laughs> oh. Roll a three, Kyler, you'll fall. Rolling four. Tazim with a 14. You're going to be able to knock him off of your son. It's not going to deal a ton of damage, but it's enough. <laughs> She's gonna try and. Oh, he fell down the You're kicked back. My son. Oh. Fucking Don't. Don't. He steps on the weapon head. They're all 
all dead. Every last one of them. All but one. Get the weapons off of him. Check him. Still keep that knife boot in your fucking left one, right? No, it's your right one, you bastard. No, it's... Second one now, huh? I mean, in a couple of injury rolls, kimchi, I got fucking rumbled yep. there. <laughs> How many? Two. Okay. With one good arm, sure I will. Your armor is... Leather. With a 9 plus 2 and a oh, 7 plus 2, behind your fucking back. you will have one major injury. That's, uh, two in total, yeah. Mm-hmm. You wouldn't happen to have a bandage of some kind of tourniquet, would you? I have four bandages and one advance. Why? We need one. Currently bleeding it out of my right arm. Quite profusely. So... Give, me, give me your leg. Advanced. Plus three. Last one of an or game. You don't waste it. Drink. Rolling. The only way you're getting up is... <sighs> Alright, you'll pour it down, saying the words "Don't waste it." My God, it can't be. Guess I am. And with a five plus three, it will make it just barely into his system. One of the majors will heal. <sighs> you plug that other one up with your hands. We'll get you back to the clinic. Not the clinic. Bandage. Go in here. Guild medic plus zero. Mm hmm. <sighs> yeah. You're this, good. This wound is in a really. Uh, wound is in a really odd yeah, spot, on. Arn. But with a five plus two. We can't go to the seven. clinic. <laughs> Imsa. No, I'm no. taking names. Really Venora should still, still be in town. Yeah. It'll be fine. And with this. potions. Where are those potions? Not on me. He already took one. Status. These lights. Oh, I'm fine. Need a second. You need another. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. I have one more major. Get him up. Sit him over by that table. Take it then. I'm fine. Up you go, you fat bastard. I'm fine. Take it. Use it. All right. Make sure no reinforcements are coming. Probably one of the rooftops. Make sure he doesn't move. You might have more boys in the tree. I'm sure you got the all right. Damn, I'm gonna get on you. Rolling. No, major is an injury. All right, you got it. I'm aware of this. I'm aware of this. I'm aware of this. I'm aware of this. I'm already a dead man walking back to shut your fucking mouth. And maybe you'll live through tonight. One was a mace, one was a sword. <laughs> With an Just 11 and a 14, maybe. respectively, plus your bonuses, you would be on one. Okay. Mr. Okay. Martin? Okay. If you don't mind sparing one. Make this fucker talk. You want a small knife? Maybe what some kind is this? Here, hands to you. What is it? Advanced? Okay. Advanced. You know, it's kind of funny. This is even from a guy. I have my uh, well. tools on my <clears> horse. <throat> One moment. Go grab it. I'm going to talk. Are you fucking swine? Hmm? You think then? <laughs> Kyler, you will take the potion. Undo the rest of his As it passes Every through your lips, life. you'll feel yeah, a little bit of warmth, but it doesn't seem you. to happen. Nothing seems to really change with a 2 plus 2 for a 4. It will progress to a critical as your vision blurs. And you will fall unconscious. Shriek's injury has progressed. Shriek? Who gave you a... Shriek? Which one of you idiots gave him a potion? He had one on him. He knew not to take it. He's supposed to go to the clinic. Motherfucker. He said he couldn't go to the clinic. Of course he can go. Some kind of caliper, something like a small hammer, a nail. I need him to make it to the clinic now. Take the horse. I'm putting him there.
I'm still learning. Okay. I don't know if I can ride. Tortured, man. Okay. Thank you in reversing matters with that dying okay. girl boy. No. Do so. No, please. He's That's news to me. I didn't realize he couldn't do that. I'll carry him up. You just get the horse ready. Oh, God. Oh, God. Make sure nothing goes wrong. Yeah, that's news to me. <laughs> I He's just gonna throw him on top, and he's gonna wrap him around you as best as he can. Jack, you need to be their eyes in the dark. I've been instructed to go back. Please keep okay, an eye on the rooftops. I will. Thank and please make sure his horse comes back. You should have told me your father said not to get you one. side by the farm. Uh, with a failed med check, I see. <clears throat> Take my ass to the clinic. <clears throat> oh, you fucker. <clears throat> Rip. Get the bed ready. Inside. Inside. <laughs> Uh, here I am again. Laying down. There's so much here. What about you? I'm fine. What am I looking I at here? So much still out with Miss. He's had damage to his ribs. Looks like something heavy hit it. Definitely cracked. To his girlfriend. Critical. It is a critical. Okay. Can you 
find him. In that case, I can try. We're first gonna try a potion, unless that's already been tried. He needs a surgeon. He needs bandages. Looks like a potion has been administered. You could try again, but it will count as the attempt. Okay. Then bandage. Wait for trauma. Understood. <laughs> what kind of wound was this from? Do you know? An impact wound from a mace or something. Got it. You're going to be getting more medication after this. There's been a lot of blunt trauma. The ribs are cracked a little bit inwards, poking into the insides. You notice this just as you begin to wrap them up. You'll catch it, and you'll move the ribs out of the way before finishing the bandaging. I'm sure it hurts like hell, but it doesn't seem to wake him up. And with a four, plus four for an eight, he will survive. Oh, that's just, that's real bad. Sorry, right, the surgeon is coming in. The surgeon will be here. You can fix it. Yeah, I'm gonna seal this up more. It's a good thing he's not awake for this. Okay. What the? Don't worry about it. Where is Soma? He left with Basil. I think he retired for the night. Here for a moment, need to check who's still awake. I'm sorry. I hesitated again. Don't know Toma if he's can't still be found. Awake. It's he not what I want to fucking I'm, hear. Go find him. Oh. Venora. Go find Venora. The apothecary. I could have said that. I was just there. Did the. Did the bandages work? Is he alright? Yes, they did. He's stable. This is what I'm worried about right now. You're clearly both non-human. I don't want to write down your name. I don't want to have to. Can he be moved? Because he's unconscious, yes. His body will remain at ease. Okay, alright. If he was okay. awake, it'd be no. What's your name? Fort. Please be quick about it. I, I, I can't lift him. I'm... Fine. Fuck. I'm gonna lift you up. 
Try to find one of your friends. To pass them off. This is really bad if they see me with them. I know, I know. Just put him on my back. There's no one around. He wakes up, this will be very painful for him. I've got him. Keep that in mind. I'm gonna need a strength roll. Stop moving. Get that roll in a second. What's happened? Getting I need to get Sharik to his bed. Or at least the couch. I'll, I'll take care of them. I don't want to imagine what we're getting. People are stubborn and stupid and quite stubborn. Okay, mm. when you say limb, just don't think twice. Come on, help me. Help. Please. Please help me. Support is back. Be careful. Grab from the back. <laughs> Fuck. She's gonna pick up pace. Do what you need to, I got him. Okay. Just put him down on the couch, please. Yeah. Come on. Okay. <clears throat> Can you stay here with him for a moment? I need to go I find... Got Do what you need to. <sighs> I don't know it's a man. <sighs> okay. Yeah, what's up? What's wrong? Tonora. Do you have anything that can help him? I, I don't know what's he... been done. Alright, alright. He's stable. <sighs> he's been bandaged, but it's not good. Um, He's gonna be in a lot of pain when he wakes up, and it's... <sighs> he... Please just help him. Please. Okay, so what is she, what is she looking at? <clears throat> it looks yeah. like his chest has been caved in. He has been hit with clearly Jesus something Christ. heavy. Um, yeah, he's not doing too well. There's a bandage that's been shoddily put around. You can see it's barely doing enough to keep him alive, but he is stable for now. It looks definitely okay, a critical. We need injury. to hurry before he wakes up. He's going to be in a lot of pain and. Please, just something. The potion, it didn't, didn't work. Or something. I don't know. If it's pain's a potion you're looking for, I've got just the thing. I, d I don't know it's what he more. needs. Soma's asleep. I'll be right back. Radian liquor helps a lot. It's not going to heal him. <laughs> it's going to deaden the senses enough to it. Not going to drive him insane when he gets up. Well, I need to wait for a DM to see what I need to give him, because it's... And you see what the role is. Just say the word. It. And I'll go get some. Let me ask a DM then real quick. Give me a second. I need a DM in Arm's house. We've got to do some medical role here. I'm gonna go look for his father back. Yeah, okay, Mr. President. So on the way. Okay, so tell him what. Did you have the injury roll done, right? This has been healed, hasn't it? Yeah. Or is there another? No. The bandage, like I said, is holding on to him. The bandage was an eight. Hold on. No, it. So the no injury roll is needed, Faye. They won't let anybody into the okay. infirmary. So he just needs to... He's does he need a better heal potion? As we Sarah's, he's been treated. He's just 
He's recovering. Sarah's worried about the pain when he wakes up, I think. Oh, well, I spoke to the surgeons and they said they already treated him. Okay. Okay. All right. Well, if he's in pain, then he'll just need Glimmer Root, as we think. If he wakes up. They're asleep, then just let them rest for now. I'm sure they'll wake up shortly. Oh, okay, night. Examining him, Faye, you do see that some of his ribs are cracked. He'll probably need a bone mending potion if you have one. He is lucky because I haven't started making my potion, finishing my potions yet. Let me look at what it takes to make an acrostic. So I have to get it okay. in the morning. From one fight to another. At least I didn't get hurt this yes. time. Well, Capitano's gonna be fucking reeling from that one. That's as good as it gets. Okay, I can make a bone mending potion, but I have to go back. It's a key back. He's okay, but he is going to need a, he is going to need a bone mending potion. Go back where? I got to go back to the apothecary to make it. Oh my God. It's not made. Okay, well, do so, please. <laughs> Everybody else, get out of your gear so no one recognizes you. Get washed up. Stand down. Oh. I'll put you in the loop, Goblin. I'll be back. Yes, go moment. ahead. Sure. The Capitano was sending this Corporal Barrera, the one that he uses for property seizures and keeping the women in the bathhouse in line, to seize the property of some of the wealthier merchants at Cassetto. They refused to work with him now that Zenik didn't. And so he tried to press them into service. When they refused, he decided to take all of their assets, their coin, and their properties, and arrest them. Nobody would have been able to do anything about it. The insider gave us that information. We went down to Cassetto. We interrogated Barrera. And when he had finished giving the information we needed, he is dead. Along with eight of the Capitano's men. All of them? You got all, all of them. them? You're sure? Not a single one got away. <sighs> but... Thank the gods for... Rolling. This is a roll to see if anyone... ...who witnesses as a civilian... We'll report it. Uh, that's the role I told you. Oh, 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 gotcha. I thought you were talking about this. Okay, never mind. Mm. You'll find out tomorrow. <sighs> Everything was wrapped up and finished. I congratulate you, the same. Though I am I'm sorry you had to come at this. We all know the risks when we do these things. <sighs> I promise you, Nautis is not a place where any of us want to die, but the risk comes I with the territory. I don't blame you. But if we can pull this off, this will be made right. I swear that to you. I trust you, Devon. I do. Enough people. I will give you. This place. I will give you what you need to make that change. I just need you to survive until then. Yeah. Also, every day. Good news is, with Barrera gone, the only enforcer that the Capitano has left is Naraz. That's it. 
The downside of that is the bastard has such a reputation that that's enough to keep people in line, but just barely. If he dies, Capitano's gonna be hanging in the wind. Problem is, his money revenue has a go as well. Because he might just be able to bribe more to his side. <coughs> we found out several things that actually might be very prevalent. The Capitan has gotten desperate. He's starting to use the silver that he has to hire mercenaries and apparently has asked for help from the Dread Knives. Now we know who he was selling to. Wait, 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 wait. Did you say the Dread Knives? I said the Dread Knives. The Capitano has been Fuck. dealing with them. <sighs> Fuck. That fucking idiot. If you got the serpents over that, this is a hundred times worse. I understand that. One thing at a time. If we can get the province under control, if we can get the local government under control, we can stomp them out as they arrive. But it has to be a well-oiled machine, and the corruption has to be gone. It must be. It has to. Threat knights but, come here. I know. They're already here. What did you say? God, it's a thousand times worse than I thought. Oh. It's going to okay. be a territory fight over Notis mm. province. From more sides than just the elves and the Imperials. Which is why we need to secure the government. We yes. take the province for ourselves. I learned something from Lorelei. Covas is currently collecting as much information as he can on high elven artifact in Nottis province. They're on to it. They're gaining on it us. might be a trade. For security in the province or perhaps military action. They might be trading whatever it is they're looking for. They're trying to find it as fast as they can. Before we get into that. Because that's as deep as it gets. The very last of what we have found out today, just now. <sighs> Araja is not the big time problem here. He's a front. He's being used. The person who's a threat here, her name is Mefu. And this Mefu woman is a big name in the slave game here. I don't even know who she is. I've heard of Haraja, but never of Mefu. No, neither have I. Haraja apparently also is a trainer and a mercenary that helps with the Capitano's little empire. Nolzos might be able to give us a lead on them. If we find out from them more about Haraja, we can get to Haraja. Last thing is, there's one man he knows of by the name of O'Thomas. He handles the domestic slaves for the Capitano. These domestic slaves are trained in a particular way to be eyes and ears, and they are sold to noble houses. Now it so makes more sense how the, the Capitano nobles. knows. Aye. Now we know how the Capitano knows as much as he does. The man is downright cunning. Mom. If you weren't a Capitano, he wouldn't be. That's the problem. Uh, well, there is some good news in this regard. It's about the thing I discussed with you earlier. The contact I met with, she's at Balerno. 
she has she has a direct line of line of knowledge for the bulls. Thankfully, though, she can get me any any information, anything I really need from them. They can probably figure out something that could probably help. Heck, maybe we can get some of their troops, some of their lesser known faces here to aid us in combat. Good. There's a small mercenary group that I'm planning on taking in called the Gilded Chains. They are quite good at what they do. After I play my game of chess, I'm going to need people I can trust with the estate. Do me a favor, if I get something strong, I want him to wake up just in case he has a concussion. I offer some of my stuff, but I used it all trading to Torty and the dwarves' wounds. It's alright. <sighs> We're a long way from Lidford. A long way from a lot of stuff. Even for me. The Imperials, the surgeons, they treated him. But they didn't take down his name like they've been ordered to for everyone who comes in and out of the clinic. They treated him and sent him on his way. That's a good sign. At least we know that there's people in the clinic that we can trust just outside of Selma. I wouldn't go that far. I don't trust any of them, Ro. I believe that they're, they're doing that to save their own asses. Yes. They need to survive. And they can't figure you things out him. without our help. It didn't sound like he gave but a who? shit. He said if they see me holding him, if they see me with him, I... only worried about himself. When I say a good sign, I mean at least I'll keep quiet. Hopefully. Until it doesn't suit if they... If they don't, they will die. It is that simple. Shouldn't have taken him to the clinic. I wasn't going to risk somebody who wasn't good enough to try and treat him. I know. Shouldn't have happened in the first place. <sighs> no plan ever goes perfectly. If I had my way, I'd have... Fuck. A bunch of knights in full plate, and I wouldn't have to bother anyone about any of this sort of shit. I could have stopped the impact on his chest, but I With didn't what? pull the trigger. There's no guarantee. We could have lost the contact. Just keep hesitating. Sarah, everyone's alive. That's all that matters right now. You're alive, he's alive. My friends are but alive. But will he be well for tomorrow? The next day? We'll see. see what I mean. huh. But if we spend all our free time filling it with ache and worry, then there'll be no rest at all, and then you'll definitely not be ready. <laughs> He's right. Getting too caught up on things of the future. It will cloud our vision and judgment. We focus on the future, or we focus on the present at the moment. We lick our wounds, we get back up, and we keep fighting. I'll get the door. Well, never mind. Roger, right Becker. You won't feel a thing, at least for a few hours. Thank you, Gavin. Please take it at least for now. They said he's going to be in a lot of pain when he wakes up. So That's why we're going to get him drunk. Wake up, my boy. Drink. 
Yes, I know. Yes, I know. Yes, I know. Focus on drinking. The pain will go away the more you drink. You know how this works. Take the bottle. You know what to do. Drink the pain away. <laughs> Be a real man for once and suck it up. <sighs> Ow. <laughs> Ow. <sighs> Fuck. <sighs> Drink, damn you. <sighs> You think it's worth telling him? That doesn't sound good. Yeah. I think it's worth telling him about my predicament to Zim. Sorry. You didn't do anything wrong. Didn't do much right. I'll do better next time. How'd we do? We got the bastard and all the information he had. Good. I'd be lucky I was starting to learn how to ride a horse. I brought your bear back. Everyone else okay? Yes. Yeah. When the fuck did I get it? A couple scrapes and bruises. Nothing serious. <sighs> Good. He had you pinned on your back. Um. I couldn't bring myself to shoot him. I would risk the mission. Then he brought that thing down on your chest. It's all a blur. It's over now. You succeeded. You're gonna be alright. Good. Just not as quick as usual. <sighs> did you get his horse, yeah, that. Jack? I did. It's stabled. Good. <laughs> He's probably worried about you. You'll have to check on him tomorrow. Yeah. <clears throat> oh. Don't worry, spice will kick in. Why is it always the fucking ribs? <laughs> always the what? Ribs. <laughs> Biggest target, my boy. Is it always my left arm? Tell Garbon. Yeah, well, you did a pretty big service for me and notice today, Seriously. though you certainly don't feel like you're a hero. Getting my shit They're fucking rocked is a good service to you. you. The brewer, they might okay. wind up speaking to him. For now, Sarik. But Something I promise you, you keep doing with as well as you've been doing. I'll they pay it back tenfold best. eventually. I promise you that. Thank you. Trust me, well, he's the ace in the hole. Puck. I take care of my debts. Yeah. I trust you, so I'll trust him. Grab him. Best that you I know. I have to tell you something. Ass. I tell you this and hope that I can trust you just you as much as played. he does. Trying to get my hands on some. My name is Ro Gadafar oh, yeah. Jahin. Mm -hmm. Certain the type last of, of the Jahin mine. We'll see what we can do. For now, don't die. 
I'm gonna check on Venora. Thank you. Any other time, any other place. Jaheen. No fucking wonder you're such a good brewmaster, huh? <laughs> uh, uh, makes a lot of sense now. Well, Poor bastard. that it does. If only knew about half of us. Unfortunately, <laughs> I'm getting that feeling. You want to move somewhere? Well, if your name Just sitting is up. Jane, and I have no reason to doubt that it is. Your family has done a great disservice indeed. No wonder you're hiding it. That's the worst. That's not the worst of it, though. Uh, I don't doubt it. But you get there if you want to get there. I'll tell you this. You okay? There is a bounty on my head of eighty silver. I was attacked by men in Balerno, wanting to claim that bounty, dead or alive. No. Makes sense. I was lucky to come. I was lucky enough to come out of there the way I did. I did it again. Hmm. Yes, you are. Nearly lost you again. Well, Keep hesitating. Keep I waiting. It, Clifford. Hoping someone else will fucking do it. I promise to you. I don't know what's gotten into me. For the sake of your family, I shall take that secret to my grave if necessary. Like I said, it's a bad man. thing. No, I'm not a good man, Clifford. I'm a kind man. <laughs> Big difference. Well, with that being said, my oh, wife is no. out of town. Six silver. Uh, I've got it. Can I opt out of it? No, you can't. <laughs> That's the only way. It's gonna heal your ribs. Oh, Thank you, Vanilla. You want your bones to be fixed, funny? Well, do. Yeah. Who are you? What's bad? Also, with... Luckily, you don't have to take it until right before you go to sleep. Yeah. Yeah. What's bad about that is that just make sure it does it. If it's been, had the bones have been reset, right? Thank you. Okay, as best good. as they can be. Then, then it won't be as painful. If they didn't reset it and you took that, it would have moved some organs around. Then it would have really hurt. You're lucky that they reset them for you. Go get yourself some rest. Who's there? This will help a lot with the time. I'll do. You all have a safe night. You as well. Good thing I have Good night. To you, yeah. Dragging in all my suppliers into your uh, shenanigans, huh? Handling some things. Forgive I'll fill you in later. Whatever okay. is old, I will pay. No. Just, uh. Well, surprise me. <sighs> and not. Don't forget to do your homework. I'll stop questioning you. We tend to do that around here. Well, in that case, I'll uh, leave you to the rest. Want to finish the rest? No, I feel you might need it before tomorrow. Well, then, thank you very much you for your service. Yeah. One day at a time, my friend. Yeah. One day at a time. I haven't done my part. I haven't done my part yet, is he? Well, when the time comes, there'll be a lot of pressure, Gobram. I live for pressure, Fizzy. You just watch. <laughs> Aye, <I am>. aye. <coughs> Where does it hurt most so I can poke it? My foot, if that's the case. You, you lie. <laughs> it's the ribs again. Mm. I got you a drink. One caustic paid by service. His... Oh shit, my favorite. Nope. <laughs> Sick.
sucker. I didn't drink it. I kept it cool though. <laughs> sucker me. You remember the last time I drank one of those? Yes, I what know. What happened to you? Yes. You want that to happen to you right now? Oh fuck. Sarah, hold on to this. Don't let him get it. I, I told him to Zim that he's lucky that they reset his bones because if he used to take that, it would move some organs around before they reset themselves. It would have hurt even yeah. far worse. Yeah. Disgusting. That's what I was thinking. Your heart might have wound up in your ass for all we know. <laughs> Matt, I think that's impossible. Get it away from my dick, as people say. The world of magic, Tang. Anything's possible. Do you, do you think my heart's in my ass? I mean, I have a lamp. I just in my think. Chest. I just think you are an ass, actually. <laughs> I don't know. Mine is metal plated. Yes. Yes, it is. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, God's above. All right. This is good. Hmm? This is good. It's Risky, good. but good. Great. The Capitano lost about eight loyal men today, oh, including geez. a man who's been both harassing the bathhouse girls and trying to stomp down on the merchants to give him more dirty money to keep ruling the town. All that's left now is to deal with these slavers that are in the pocket of Haraja and this Mefu, whoever she is. I don't know how much we'll be able to do about that. That's something that I'm going to have to rely on Nolzis for. Dredge is going to have to do some work on his own. However, the rest of this Spice and Serenity movement... That's in its death throes as well. A little more time and we'll have it all settled. Before two weeks are up, I guarantee we'll see the Capitano at the end of a rope. I believe that. Good riddance. I believe it. <laughs> So what comes first, Tazim? The Capitano hanging? Well, the first the thing problems. is we wait to see tomorrow if anybody who lives in Cassetto says anything about what they saw. We don't know if we were completely unseen. That could be a problem in itself. A big one. But we didn't have much of a choice. If that happens, I'll see what Nolzus can do. We'll get some noble support. Don't worry about that right now. That's not something we can change. <sighs> Tomorrow night, that transporter for the local spice farm that's hidden somewhere in the mountains, Carlissa, will be coming back with a wagon. Marin's gonna go with her and scout out the farm. See where it's weakest, see how many men are there. When she's done so, she's going to let us know. And we're going to go in there, take whoever's in charge, captive, find out what they know, and burn the fucking place to the ground. <clears throat> Someone knocking on the door. I heard something. Later on, Kyler, you're going to need a roll to see if you notice the gray hair on her back. <clears throat> I was about to ask. Yeah, you're gonna have to ask Brenzy for a roll. Mm -hmm. I'm him. Uh, a roll, roll for his perception, seeing the gray hair. See the gray on my hair, head, on the 15, back. Fifteen, you see it with ease. You, uh, getting old, Venora? I feel like it. <sighs> Don't we all? <laughs> I 
It's been a lot to do, but we're almost done. Once the province is secure, we can look outward and below. It is a flask. <laughs> it is full of grove water. It smells weird. You want me to... Probably really pure. Hmm. Curious water you've had Shriek. in a long while. Are you alright, Shriek? I haven't been able. I thought you were injured. Well, well my deathbed, Severick. I'm okay, buddy. No, I think that's a great idea, Harry. I was trying out Thank some, you. Okay. some corn and some different herbs that are edible. That'd be nice. Well, Dazim's doing what he's <clears> doing. Um, Basil said she's willing to help any way possible. Next time we go, I'll start. You guys need any help at all? Okay. <sighs> she's okay. Yeah, I can start now. gathering sticks, sticks with you, and we can make a little water fence. And if you so much as right. thinking about making the a deathbed, I'm going to reach into the great beyond and pull your soul right back. I fully believe you could do that, Ting. Why don't you stop injuring yourself? <laughs> I mean, you need to. Why don't you stop being a cock? One day at a time. <clears throat> what? <clears throat> you heard me. I would say something, but I don't want to be mean. No, no, go for it. Go ahead, sling insult to the injured Warforged. Wow, you're so noble, Harry. Check with Aldo. You should have the big beams done for Tang, so he can start now. Fine, you know, have support, so he can start digging down. Then the palisade. Now that Tyr went ahead and took some of the picks, uh, the three axes and two picks there, so they can at least start working on getting the palisade uh, wood up. So might start seeing some of it get developed soon. Be good. I'll be sure to show them how to use pickaxes properly. I know that okay. elves aren't too keen on. He's holding your hand. Oh. Don't be too harsh. That's yourself. my dead spot. Mm. Okay. I wish it was that easy. I know. I tested Morden's plate work. Hmm. What do you think? How's it look? Yeah! Ow! Ow! <laughs> <laughs> Whoa. He finished the Now job. that... And that's what we remember. Gorgeous. <laughs> Looks good. Yeah. Is it his research? <clears throat> Took his time to gild it. Seal of approval. I can't approval. wear it though this... until I'm done with this... <clears throat> chess game, so to speak. Yeah, and get your that, title. Going to explain. Exactly. Mm. If Nolzus does what she says she will, and she has no reason not to, we'll be able to come out of the dark and establish ourselves. <clears throat> we'll play the game. Be wonderful. Gerbrum is a big part of that. He cannot die. He cannot die. If he does, everything falls through. He is a trusted voice to the Baron Amem. 
explicitly trusted. This stays in this room. I tell you now because we are very close to the end of this journey. Gerber must survive, so he is able to report to the Barons all that we have done. And be the truth of our word when the corrupt guards attempt to point the finger at us and have us killed. That's our ace in the hole. Mm. Do you understand? Yes. So if I ever see him hurt or injured, get to him as quickly as possible. Gerber must survive. My hope, because he cares so much for Nodis and the people here, is that once he has shown his loyalty to a mem, that he'll be able to take up a position that will allow him to ensure something like the Capitano never happens again. But that's a talk for another day. I know everybody's tired and weary. Just know it is almost done. We will be able to focus our eyes elsewhere. Certainly hope so. You don't have to hope. I've planned for it. Good night. <coughs> night. Good night, Tazim. Do you need help getting up to your bed? If you don't mind. Wolf. Do you mind? Oh, okay. Oh, God. Easy. <laughs> you know, I would. Now that you... I think that I would break your ribs more. Mm. Okay. Did, yep. did they Touch leave him. you that? I'm going to dismantle you. You oh, automaton. Shriek tomorrow. I... Um, you're taking it easy. I'll help anything you need with. I've got this thing on my leg. Come on, let's go. Do you need me to help? No, you're fine. <laughs> Come on. Okay. <clears throat> Sarah, are you going to stay with Kyle? I mean, stay with Shriek tonight and take his beads bedside? I'm going to make sure he drinks this potion and then I need to step outside. Pretty hairless, I've seen it once before, but I'll just on the couch. Hours. Which means, Wolf, not that I have to give you any permission, but it's up to you to watch over him. Make sure he drinks this. He doesn't have to drink it right now, but before he closes his eyes, you know the drill, and I don't need to explain anything. Be good for Wolf, or you'll deal with me. Drink the nasty potion and go to sleep. It's so bad. I know. Do you need anything from your desk, your drawers? I should be okay. Thank you, Sarah. I'll see you in the morning. Snails don't get mad. Snails? Closing the door behind me. Oh, How upset do you think that the merchant skill would be if I dropped by in the middle of the night asking for medals? Oh gosh. I don't think well, they're open Please get some night. rest. Remember oh. when you said you were kind of glad to see me injured? Yeah, yeah, yeah. So that I'd sit down somewhere. Reap what I yeah. sow. Yeah. Like... <clears throat> are you staying here tonight? Or are you going back with Venora?
么说服。I don't know if I'll be able to help <coughs> properly. I feel so bad seeing them always come back, feeling like I could have done something. Find Anora. Tell her I'm staying here tonight. There we go, I live. Huh? <coughs> <coughs> I heard you got shit faced earlier. I promise myself I'm never going to drink again. I've done that several times in my life. with you. It hurts so fucking much. Trying to put on a brave face for everyone, but I... <sighs> Ever since we went back to Ledford, <sighs> I took some really nasty damage to my ribs, and I've not been the same since, and I'm worried that this is gonna make it worse. I don't mean to worry you. Just... Venting. <laughs> you are a brother to me, Kyler. It doesn't matter how strong you are. Or how much of a brave face you put on. I'm always going to worry. Just because I'm always with Faye doesn't mean I'm not thinking about you. You're one of the only people who understand the weight that I carry. Which is exactly why I need to be strong for you. To help you shoulder it when I can. You see? Shoulder yourself first. What do you think we've been trying to tell Faye all this time? 
I know you see it too. Her running herself ragged. <laughs> For everyone around her. Trying to save the world when she can barely save herself. running trend with our friends, I'm afraid. <sighs> yeah, I guess so. That's why... That's why we're here, right? It's what we do. And somehow it's never enough. No. What else can we do? side from all of this <coughs> is tonight in between my screams of agony while I drink that <coughs> I can give you some real lessons on thieves count really get you up to speed since I'm here in person if you're up for it I wouldn't want you to go trying to teach me something while your bones are being mended back together. That's the best time to learn. I know he says pain's a good teacher. <clears throat> Arn says a lot of things. He isn't always wrong. Hasn't led us astray. Aylor said the same. <laughs> Don't stress yourself any. <laughs> Always stressed, Kyler. I've been stressed for the last four years. <sighs> Scratch that. I've been stressed all my life. <sighs> I can't remember the last time. I haven't been fighting to survive. Last time I was able to sleep with both eyes closed. <laughs> this is what I'm talking about, about shouldering the burdens. I'll definitely be up most of tonight. So try to rest a little easier. I'll watch over you. Stop it. 
I'm here to watch you. While your bones heal. You think I'll be sleeping while you're screaming and yelling? Fat chance. I try and keep it down. You make these? Yeah. They're not very sharp, I just... <sighs> Sometimes just sit and throw and recover and... Sit and throw and... Recover, it's meditative. <laughs> Throwing them, huh? Ever tried it? I threw a spear once. Almost hit a friend. Those ones aren't very balanced. If you'd like, you can try with one of my actual throwing knives. They're meant for throwing. Be more balanced, and if you damage it, I won't feel bad. Do you have a roller? I can get chat to roll. Chat, roll a d20. <clears throat> Ten. Not bad. You hit the target. Not dead center, but... Better than most people would. <laughs> Not bad for your first throw. It's a fluid movement. Your whole body. <laughs> Your whole body needs to move into it. Watch it. Another roll, please. Roll a d20, chat. Eighteen. Sorry, sixteen. <clears throat> Definitely better. The pointers have... You can feel it as you're throwing it. It feels much smoother and much nicer. See? It's a good... Uh, skill to have in your arsenal. You can keep people at range <clears throat> for a little bit. I'm gonna give this a drink. I'll keep giving you pointers throughout the night. Lisa. I'm really glad I still have you. That you're still around. May not think it. But you 
help me carry more than you think. <clears throat> Been an only child my whole life. So I'm here to carry whatever. I'm here to carry whatever you need help carrying. What if that involves you? I didn't train all those years for nothing. See, I need you to be good. You know, I need you to be. Not hurt or sad or too worried or any of that because I care about you and Lord knows I try not to do that anymore so I need you to be okay You can have as much training in the world. Yeah. But at the end of the day, we can't do everything ourselves. Just know that I care about you. Yeah, I get one more D20. Chat, roll a D20. <clears throat> Four. Ping. Okay. You, uh... You kind of whipped your body at the end there. Don't worry. You'll get, you'll get the hang of it. be proud of you. I definitely am. I used to think that after you died, it was just nothing. But I know for a fact now that sometimes a part of you remains and you can watch everyone you care about. Lisa, I hope he is watching you so that he can feel all the pride that I feel when I see how far you've come. Thank you.